I consider this legislation a positive recovery measure. Before the New Deal, American workers had little power. Employers set wages as low as they wished. Pensions and other benefits were rare. Workplace safety was poor and child labor widespread. Unions had only limited legal protection. Workers who tried to organize faced intimidation, firing, and even violence. FDR changed this balance of power. The 1933 National Industrial Recovery Act had guaranteed labor's right to organize and bargain collectively. In 1935, FDR signed the Wagner Act, the most important labor law in American history. It affirmed the right of workers to organize unions, required employers to bargain with union representatives, and enhanced the power of the National Labor Relations Board to mediate disputes. In 1938, a second landmark labor law was enacted. Its goal, in FDR's words, was, quote, to end starvation wages and intolerable hours. The Fair Labor Standards Act established a national minimum wage and eventually a 40-hour week for workers in industry. It also fulfilled a decades-long dream of reformers by prohibiting employment of children under the age of 16 in most occupations. We must continue to protect children to enforce minimum wages, to prevent excessive hours, to safeguard, define and enforce collective bargaining.